Alrighty then, we are recording this off stream and uh, we have been invited to join Sinfo. I knew you could be counted on. Revenant, Dress Rival. Revival relies on forging packs with those outside of our realm. The Prince never had any doubt that you would agree to join our cause. He summoned the Court of Harvesters in anticipation of your arrival. Renafal awaits you within Sinfo, where you will be presented to the court. Hello. And Mawa. never doubted you for a moment. Partnerships such as ours will be key to Revendress revival. As harvesters, we have the abilities to extend our powers to mortals, though the decision must be unanimous. To that extent, the court is gathered and is waiting your arrival. Let's not keep them waiting. You may question why we are willing to impart our power onto a mortal, though you are no ordinary mortal, are you? No. You can breach the boundaries of the moor with ease. Something that even the oldest Venthyr are unable to do. That ability alone would make you perfect for my plan. But there is so much more to you, isn't there? It will never be enough to simply defeat Denathrius. We must also break his hold on Revendreth. His grasp on this realm comes from the medallions he created. Each containing a fraction of his power given to subordinates that would obey without question. We must secure these medallions, and with them usher in a new era that would see Revendreth return to its true purpose. I distinctly remember hearing of such a plan many years ago, Renathal, before the Master's true intentions were known. Oh my. So we need to give our oath to them to secure our power. I accept your pledge as honest and true. You may rise. Kind of felt like Renafal was coming on to me there. Your loyalty has been observed and acknowledged. Stand as one of us. Darkest greetings, Maw Walker. Welcome to our humble court, and this gives us door of shadows. Our covenant is more than just packs and promises. We have immense power too, and that power we shall bestow upon you in a sacred ritual. Once complete, you will be able to call upon our gifts with ease. Meet us within the chambers below to begin. Yes, my lord. Forgive the crowds. Many are eager to bear to witness to this monumental occasion. This ritual will bestow upon you our gift. We will stir the anima within your soul, awakening the power that has only been known to harvesters. It has never been performed on a mortal before, but I've been assured that it won't hurt a bit. Please take your place when you are ready to begin. Oh, empower me. You stand me. before the court of harvesters, willing and able to accept our gift. Help us return Revendreth to its... Help us rid this realm of a tyrant whose actions threaten... This all. gift of power will be yours so long as you remain loyal to our cause. Oh, so if I betray you, I would lose my covenant abilities. Oh, Is that what you're saying? Our potential savior of the shadow So long as the pact remains, so shall our power. The power of the harvester flows through your mortal body, but you may wield even greater might by binding your soul to another. Doing so has no known drawbacks, but offers many advantages for both parties involved. The accuser will oversee the process, meet at the forge of bonds when you are ready. I look upon you and dare to feel it has been quite some time since i've guided the binding of souls the soul bind with another is not an irrevocable bond however it is not to be entered into lightly you will experience one another's past your hopes fears dreams your very memories if any still linger you will become kindred spirits in the truest sense once complete your connection will transcend physical space and make you stronger in more than mere bronze the mars Klaja. please come forward you will be the first to receive this honor. May her blade serve you well, Maw Walker. Nadja looks up in silence, a wry smile spreading across her face. Oh, soul bind with me. Mm. You have lived an interesting life thus far. I will endeavor to make it even more so. 
Do you feel it too? Our connection is stronger than I imagined could be possible. I've been told that the bond will continue to grow over time, that we do have the ability to accelerate the process. Sinfall needs our strength. Perhaps it is best we engage in this method now. Naja empowered. So once again we choose a path. Door Shadows disorients all nearby enemies at the target location. Door Shadows increases your movement speed. Which leads to endurance and potency. Finesse. Yeah, okay, we'll take this one then. And then we'll go down the line. Okie dokie. It is done. May the power within your soul serve you well. We will accomplish much together. Your world has a saying that you cannot be in two places at once. Without a soulbind, that is true. Thankfully for you, we have resolved that matter. Let us seek our tactician Saka at the end of the hall and you will see. Uh, although our battle against the Master's forces is at the forefront, there is still much to be done on the fringes. So once again, they're going to teach us the uh, mission boards. Saka is responsible for leading those efforts. Under your guidance, you will direct Sinfall's allies where they are needed most. Fear not, my strength will be with you, even if we are apart. That is the nature of our bond. Oh, Saka. What are you going to teach me today? Always we will work together battle. to ensure efficiency. A Venfear's primary responsibility is ensuring that souls are unburdened of their pride, but they must see to other matters as well. There are countless issues in the Shadowlands that need attention, far more than any one Venfear can handle. That is where I come in. Consider me your eyes in the field. Allow me to demonstrate a simple task for Najia here, so that you may be both reap the benefits of my service. Keep your talons ready. My blade is yours. Where should we point it? And mission board, scouting map inspected. Understood, I will do not delay. Oh, I only need to inspect it here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot better. Naja will succeed in a mission, I have no doubts. Hmm. We are grateful for this partnership. With your help, Renafal will lead us into a new era, one that will see Revendreth reclaim its true purpose. Return to him now so that the real work can begin. We'll unlock world quests, calling quests, and renown. I have received word that Soul Warden Teneval wishes to speak with you on matters pertaining to Ma. It seems rather urgent. Do not keep him waiting. It takes stone to hold a heart of fire. Your quest log is full. Stone writes blessing, mortal. I wouldn't mind them increasing the limitation a wee bit. Not a whole lot, but just a wee bit. Come forth, catalyst. I hope you have found everything to your liking. There is no possibility of victory. Oh, is that not exciting? There are many tasks that need your attention outside of the walls of Sinfall. Our closest allies are under assault from all sides, and the force of the Nefries are unrelenting. Take your weapon and steal yourself. Today we defend Revendreft, and in doing so, further bulwark ourselves against our enemies. We will take back what is ours. The draw. So as we've seen in other Covenant Halls, uh, you are sent out to help out Revendreft, and here they still stay in Revendreft. So each week, everybody will be guided into the same zone. Okay. What sin shall we redeem first? I need your undivided attention for what I'm about to disclose. Our Covenant has secured an artifact we believe is the best place in your care. It's the Soul Keeper. The Broker of Audible's claims the Soul Keeper is based upon secrets of the First Ones. Whether they build it or adapted it from something already existing, I cannot say. The Crystal will allow us to recover souls from the Maw, bring them to safety. Go to the Maw, recover nine souls, is your first quest. Darkness is its own comfort. Brokers are such calculating beings. Let me just clean you up my quest log. Time. What secret shall be your soul? Souls undoing. continue to pour into the Maw. As long as the Jailer continues to draw this power to the Maw, we need to save as many souls as possible. Return to the Maw and rescue those that you can. Replenish the reservoir. There is still a great need for us to maintain the supply of anima back to the Sanctum. The damage that the Nephrius has wrought upon a realm is not easily repaired. I trust that we can rely on your assistance with this cause. We should have plenty of time together later. Gather all the anima, treasures and whatnot. Our attempts at a parlay were met within, with sept scepticism at best. Acquiring the medallions may take more work than originally intended. However, not all hope is lost. I do believe that we can win over many of the harvesters. And for those who cannot, a more direct approach will need to be taken. Lord Chamberlain falls into this latter category. His medallion must be taken by force. Now that quest, as far as I recall, is supposed to be after we've done the things in Revendreft. Uh, after we've done part of the campaign, as in you are sent out to meet up with them and they're like ooh I'm not sure if I want to join this little plan of yours 
so let's first do some other things and have a little look see at what's going on before I start queuing up for any dungeons. Although I might want to queue up right now, actually. Um, eh, I'll do it another time. Sorovane grows only here in the lowlands of Revendreft. It is power contained within the leaves and seeds, perhaps a byproduct of the cleansing of sins. We use it for many things, from potions to venoms. It is a versatile reagent. Our stores are low, and we have little ability to forge these days with the force of our enemies bearing down on us. As you travel our lands, should you come upon any, we will make good use. So those are the um, daily, weekly, hourly, whatever the things they got. Ooh. A special show of favor, equal to your recent efforts, containing more anima, additional items to assist your covenant efforts, and valuable items from the vaults. Oh. We got an epic quest here. Interesting. No atonement Do without sacrifice. you not yet understand the purpose of Revendreth? The, the souls under our care teeter on the brink of permanent damnation. Even with perfect attention and careful processing, not every soul can escape the maw and be elevated to a higher destiny. That is true under the best of circumstances. Currently, due to your installation of the Chamberlain at the Halls of Atonement, we're instead witnessing the worst. We must return to the Halls of Atonement and enforce order. Tend to your own sins, not all Venfir have forsaken our sacred calling. Stick with me. Oi. You know heroing. For you I to know do. Revendreth. Got something for you to do today. Lots of problems outside of Sinfo. There are big problems, little problems, all sorts of problems. We're not going to make much headway against the Nefrius with this lot at our heels all the time. I get out there and get some muck on your boots. Let's and get back come. to it, shall we? Um, What's going on? Why are you blinking? Things are available. I think daily quest resets. That's probably why it's blinking. We needed to go to the Halls of Atonement and we needed to meet the accuser at the Absolution Crypts, which is on the other side of the country. All right, it's downstairs. Oh, it's in a crypt, actually. Okie dokie. Why would anyone walk anywhere? Remember, a safe flight is a boring flight. And an innkeeper? Oh, no. My hearthstone is on a good spot. Unbind the sin stones from that soul immediately. We must reverse the Lord Chamberlain's depravity. We have tried accuse it. The soul combust if we remove it. Curse the Lord Chamberlain and his perversions. Confront your past. It is worse than I feared. Condemned by it. The souls have suffered tremendously under the Lord Chamberlain. We then fear subjugate souls to our wills. We may lead each to the absolution it requires, willing or not. The Lord Chamberlain, however, has been using our relics and rituals to abuse the souls under his authority. He binds the souls to their sin stones, perverting their very essence. Use these ritual chains on the abused soul and subjugate it to your will. We must attempt to absolve it. Tend to your own sin stone. Our ritual chains allow us to dominate and control souls as needed. Take command of the soul below. Come along, little soul. And this is, if you've seen the model of... The Lord Chamberlain has corrupted his soul beyond redemption. Destroy it. My sins were too heavy to bear. Look what Lord Chamberlain has done to these souls in need. Execrable. Execrable. It's good scrabble words. No, the soul is now lost forever. Sacrifice. Such wasted potential. The Lord Chamberlain will answer for this offense. Um... We must save as many souls as we can from the fate that we've just witnessed. Search the halls for souls who've escaped the Lord Chamberlain's perverse rituals. Subjugate them and bring them to my, uh, to me inside the Halls of Atonement. Together, we will make certain that each soul is appropriately processed and cared for. The, there are very specific procedures that we must follow to best tend to the souls under our care. You and I will follow them exactly. I can mask your garish appearance, but you must acquire the necessary ritual tools on your own. Requisition them from the depraved Venfir, serving the Lord Chamberlain nearby. Thankfully, I'm not the only one <clears throat> who remembers the high calling of the Halls of Atonement and its servants. These avowed ritualists have been working covertly to preserve the integrity of the Halls. They report that the Lord Chamberlain relies on a particularly gifted soul flayer to teach other ritualists how to corrupt the souls, given the reward that he deserves. Every choice matters. The Lord Chamberlain has perverted the entire process of absolution. You and I will tend to needy souls the proper way, without question and without hesitation. Meet me inside the Halls of Atonement when you have everything that we require. And the reason why I skipped that queue is I'm pretty sure at the end of this questline you're going to be sent to the Halls of Atonement again anyways. In order to slay the Chamberlain, so... 
That way I can get the badge and the kill in the same go. I don't think the quests are in the right order for the beta quite yet. Are you a fugitive soul or just an abused Please one? Surrender to the Vendor's will. Poor Todd. What did Todd ever do to anyone? Aww. Oh, look at that icon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Poor Todd, though. So we need to get... Stuff. Fugitive Souls. Oh, here we go. Fugitive Souls. Uh, I must atone for my sins. Fugitive Souls, Venfir, and main character guy. Right. The others torment without purpose. Give me clothes. I need an outfit. Thank you. So we got a dagger. Need some robes. Need a tome. Alright. And then up here... I must atone for my sins. Oh, the servers are also a wee bit laggy. What you got in those souls, man? Arrogant soul. Deserve better. Oh. Every soul is a weapon. Mm-hmm. Their burdens are power. Okay. I am pleased to find that you have not neglected Never. our sacred duty. If even one soul can be saved, it is worth it. Have you come to confess? Um, there we go. We will do this the proper way. Ornate, elegant, and beautiful robes has aided countless souls without ever piercing flesh. Each ritual is endlessly detailed with countless variations. Uh, good. You are ready for the ritual. Every lost soul must be tended to, and his just reward would be the Ma, but this will have to do. The ritual of absolution is a sacred rite that forces souls to discard the burdens of their mortal lives. The soul must be willing participant if the ritual's effect will be meaningful and long-lasting. We often spend ages preparing a soul for a single absolution ritual. The Lord Chamberlain has neglected his duty. These souls are overdue for absolution, practically bursting with enema. We will perform the ritual ourselves and hurry these souls along their journey. We will be watching. The ritual of absolution can only be performed at a reliquary. Follow me. Oh yeah. Humble those souls. Mm. Every soul can be redeemed. I am ready. Desires. The ritual of absolution will help these souls reach the burns of the mortal lives. Be prepared. The burdens of life can be cantankerous. Again, a very fancy word. Serve your purpose. The ritual may not look like mercy to you, Mal Walker, but I assure you, everything that we do is for the soul's benefits. Begin. You insignificant fools. Your entire mortal lives sprawl before me and I see nothing of value. Let loose the bonds that bind you to those lost lives. Release your failures and be free. Release your failures or be condemned by them. I am insignificant. Yes, you are. But knowing that means that you might not be hopeless after all. Uh, Ritualists, see that these souls return to the storage to meditate on what they've learned today. We will see how they've progressed in a few centuries. Yes, accuser. No sacrifice. Absolution does not come easy, suffering. nor should it. After all rituals of absolution are complete, each soul must face his final judgment in Revan Drafts. There are three potential verdicts. If proven unworthy, it is condemned to the Maw for eternity. If fully absolved of its sins, it is either elevated to a Venfir or returned to the Arbiter to be assigned his new destination. Our most sacred ritual, the Judgment, determines this fate. One such ritual is happening now. I will disguise you and participate to ensure a just verdict. 
three potential verdicts unworthy or fully absolved and then you can either be sent over to the arbiter or begin as a venvir i see we must remain hidden to be effective i will disguise you as a venvir the ritual of final judgment determines the permanent fate of a soul in revan drifts i am intimately familiar with the soul being judged today after millennia of efforts, he has atoned for all of his sins. We will witness his ascension today. But there are depraved judges. Stay concealed. Do not interfere. No forgiveness without atonement. I am ready. Change yourself, or I will. We convene today to pass final judgment on the soul of Kranoit. Felegri, those with insight into this soul journey through Revendreft will decide its fate. Speak now and declare this soul's final destination. I condemn it to the Ma. The Ma? This soul has atoned for all of its misdeeds. I condemn it to the Ma. This soul has absolved. There is no... I condemn it to the Ma. Explain your reasoning immediately. I condemn it to the Ma. Unconscionable, you mock our sacred ritual. We have no endorsements and no willing sire. I also condemn this soul to the maw. May he? I will sire this soul. I buy my soul to Cronoid Feligri. I attest his worthiness to be made of Enfer. May my fate be his own and his mine. Inquisitor scowls at the judges below. Who dares intervene on this soul's behalf? A Venfer who has not forgotten her purpose. It's the accuser. Only one who has forgotten her place. What is done cannot be undone. Final judgment has been reached. Cranoi Feligri, you've been judged worthy to become Venfeir. Sired by the accuser, I grant you your eternal name, Grezit. As for you, accuser, I will not forget your vow or the vulnerability it creates. So now little Grezit has been created, huh? Yeah, okay. What does that mean? Speak. I will listen. I sacrifice more than you realize to save this soul. I would do it again because it is right. Do you understand yet? You're not able to participate in Venvir rituals at the Halls of Atonement. Well, our disguises are superfluous now. We will not be welcome after disrupting their depraved ritual. Despite what we've observed here, some steadfast Venvir do still remain within these halls. Those who have not forsaken our vocation and carry on with our calling. Archivist Fane is such as these. Aid his endeavors however you can. We will need his insight to loosen the Lord Chamberlain's grip over these halls. I must tend to Gresset. He is much to learn. The Maw is closer than you think. I don't understand. Why did they accompany me, Gresset? You have much to learn about your new role in Revendreft. I will instruct you personally. F thank you, Accuser. It is my duty, Gresset. And it is yours now as well. Yes, Accuser. And so the soul will say. So I imagine since she tied her fate to his, that if they slay Grezit, then she will go down as well. I imagine it's something in that uh, direction. I mean, they need to find the peeps that are still doing the thing that they're supposed to do here. Over here, Mallwalker. Archivist Yanira. Ooh. Ooh. You must be honored with the avowed and have rune carving unlocked to purchase this memory. Interesting. This is what we use for the guy in the in the tower in order to make legendaries as well. A shade stone. A feast, which is honored with the avowed. Uh, Inquisition Intimidator's Reigns, which is a mount, but that says exalted. Enchanted Elephium Bar. And a quill. Pull out your quill and parchment and dictate a great epic or your auction house list. Oh. Is that mobile auction house for everybody? Ooh, interesting. Cool stuff. Some very angry judges recently passed through here. He grins. Tell me everything that you did to antagonize them. Don't skip a single detail. Knowledge is power. 
You said Inquisitor Traylon oversaw the ritual. Fane searches the mess of archives in his chamber. We archivists maintain strict records of every soul that passes through these halls, or at least we're supposed to. The sin stones of powerful Venfear tend to go missing. Rolls his eyes. I don't see his sinstone here. He might have stolen it, or someone could be hoarding it as blackmail. Help me complete my archives, and I'll get you the sinstone that you need. You or I could wield these sin stones directly, but I much prefer to use stone fiends for such tasks. Exceptional results, no personal risk. Unfortunately, my stone fiend did not return from its last errand. Speak with the cryptic to Kassir in the archives above. He's loyal to the accuser and will loan us his stone fiends. Knowledge is power, Mal Walker, and we can know everything. Yes, Ketgar. Hunt down every soul that hides within these holes. Up here we have the Crypt Keeper. Is that the same guy that we stole from earlier? So, you finally listened to the Accuser, eh? Better late than never. Revendreth demands penance from all, and it would appear that even you are no exempt. Do not fear, I have no intention of exacting revenge for the violence that you inflicted upon me, but I cannot offer you Temel either. The Lord Chamberlain, who you so wisely chose to install as master of these halls, deemed Temel a threat to his control. His folks bashed Temel to bits and scattered to pieces amongst these crypts. It is not the first time I've had to rebuild him. I will rebuild Temel once you've recovered all of his pieces. A little one. Come along now. It's no time to be losing your head. <laughs> Atonement Crypt Key. This key is marked with a sigil that matches the crypts in the Halls of Atonement. What is Lord Chamberlain hiding away in there? Open an Atonement Crypt. You can now find Atonement Crypt Keys in the Halls of Atonement. Interesting. These souls seem to be doing rather nicely. Unrepentant, arrogant. Considering past mistakes. <laughs> okay. So that's like the bell that you ring before you go to bed at night. Ah. So... I kind of need to find the Atonement Crypt. Is it just any of them? Yeah. The Lord Chamberlain imprisoned me in this crypt for defying his wicked decree. Take this boon. We must stand united against him. Can I open all of them or was it a one-time use? I guess there was a one-time use. Okay. So like a random drop chance you get like a boon? You betrayed the Lord Chamberlain. That's nice. And just as we are in front of the quest giver, I get my last items. How does he do it? Um, hang on. He has a friendship bar. Considers me a stranger right now. I attempt to not judge those who serve the master. I was sent to Revendreth because I also failed to acknowledge the truth that was right in front of me. It is never too late to make the right choice. No matter how broken Temel is, I can rebuild him. Cryptkeeper Kassir inspects the pieces of Temel you brought him. They bashed you real good, didn't they, Temel? Nothing I cannot fix. Awaken, Temel. Your skills are needed. I can think of one sin I'd like the Herald to hear right now. Uh, you are unaware of many developments. Obey the Malwalker without question. As you say, Master. Do not mind Semmel. His zeal for herald heralding sins is powerful, but he is still a stone fiend. He will obey. Give Archivist fame my regards. The Atonement Crypts are meant to be used as a storage for souls who require additional processing before the next ritual. The Lord Chamberlain's idiots are using them like prison cells and treasure rooms. You're doing us all a favor by opening them whenever you find a key. Noise. Okay. Uh, sin stones are the most powerful weapons in Revendreth. A complete archive would detail in explicit detail every sin stone that the Venfer have ever accumulated. Fane's eyes light up when you hand him the archives. This is a lot of potential leverage. Temel has told me quite a tale of your previous adventures together, Mallwalker. 
You may have noticed that Inquisitors are protected by Lord Chamberlain's magic, a potent consequence of Wielnermaster's medallion. But now that we have access to the Inquisitor Treland Sinstone from the Archives, we have the power needed to break through those defenses. Locate the Inquisitor and order Temmel to read out from his Sinstone, declaring the true name and sins of the Inquisitor, will shatter his defenses and make him vulnerable for a short window of time. Be ready to strike. When you're ready, order Temmel to read from the Inquisitor Sinstone. This will be fun, just like old times, right, Noble? <laughs> I really do appreciate how all the NPCs just, in a very short way, explain to you what the quest text is telling you. That way there isn't a massive need to read the quest in order to understand what the heck is going on. Quite appreciate that. Be gone, accusers pets. I have no time for you. I name Inquisitor 3 in his true name, Palaval the Biased. You dare question me? I've been perfected. Who never acted on his meticulously perfected ideals. Who never listened to criticism or suggestion. Who was slow to admit error and quick to accuse it. I kind of angered all of them there. One more round. Who squandered his par unparalleled intellectual gifts. Who berated his fellow philosophers instead of building them up. Who berated his fellow philosophers instead of building them up. Okay. Nevertheless, my logic is flawless. So what's kind of cool to see, for those that haven't noticed it yet. Um, the sins that they use in Revendrefts. They, uh, based upon whatever goes on in your culture and society. And not so much upon... Nah, I'm not gonna do it. And not so much upon, like, a general rule book, But more so as to, okay, what is the culture where this spirit comes from? What would be considered a sin to them? Which I find a brilliant choice. That means that there's not an overruling council or group that decides like this is right or wrong no 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 depends on where you grow up and i quite like that decorous and deserved i hope this will be the first of many corrupted inquisitors that we fell together you can now find sin stones in the halls of atonements bring me any sin stone fragments that you find and i will help you piece together sin stones of other inquisitors the depravity outside of these halls is only a whisper of the true horrors being committed under the lord chamberlain's guidance inside the halls of atonement if you truly wish to curse corruption you must dethrone the imposter that you installed here atone for your own mistake kill the lord chamberlain so that we may begin to restore permanent order to this place the depravity outside of these halls only a whisper of the true horrors atone for your own mistake oh i just did that and then there are sin stones you could turn in and I imagine we'll get rewarded for that and get some good stuff. Okay. Credibly protective other secrets. We need to expend additional resources and if I recreate one of their sin stones. Cool. Hunt down every soul that hides within these halls. So like I said, this will be one of those uh, quests that sends me into the Halls of Atonement anyway. So I could do that together with picking up the Medallion of Pride. And we'll get it done. Alrighty, let's turn this bad boy in, shall we? Welcome, my fellow doomed friend. Medallion of Pride. Our attempts in parlay were met with skepticism. Okay, so this is the one that actually comes off the thingy. Hello, more walker. Have you recovered a medallion bestowed upon the Venfir by the sire himself? Allows the wearer to extract partial dominion over Revendrefts. With this, we are one step closer to realizing the rev uh, revitalization the of Revendrefts. The lack of souls, the jailer. And here we go, we got one of those, and we need to get more of them. Um, there was also your absolution. The accuser, I have taken care of things. Speak. I will listen. A welcome and reversal remember. of fortunes. I wish I'd been there to the see it happen. Is closer than you think. All right. Um, so that means we're at the Maw quest right now. Do we also have the quest line which has us go through... No. I was wondering, like, do we have the quest line that makes us go to the meeting? But they definitely want us to collect anima first and rescue souls from the mall. So let's go and do that.